What's up guys, gonna be doing some updates and talking about some old computers. Let's get started. In my last video I took apart my home server and rebuilt it using some uh, newer old components. This right here happens to be the old hardware that was in it. Uh, this is a Pentium of some kind, I don't really remember what it is. Um, six gigs of memory and uh, it worked really well for the time that was in service uh, as my home server. I'm going to be putting this back into its original case and I left a question for you guys in the last video about what you thought I should do with it and I got a lot of different responses and uh, I really appreciate the input. So a lot of people said uh, maybe take uh, take it and create like a media server. Some people said use it to create a virtual server and I got a bunch of other suggestions. Um, I still don't know what to do with it but I figured it's on the desk uh, or on the workbench really. Uh, let me get it back together in the old computer case um, and then once I've got that done then I can maybe figure out what to do with it in the future. This is the case that that came out of. This is an Asus Essentio series PC. Uh, it's, I don't know, a few years old, probably five or six years old at this point. Uh, it did come with Windows 7, so there's a COA sticker on the side there, so I'll be able to use that uh, if I want to reload it with Windows 7. Uh, it did originally come with a DVD-RW drive. I've got a bunch on the shelf, so I'll have to replace that. Um, this is empty if I wanted to add another drive. And then in the front here, I have USB ports, some card reader slots, which is actually pretty nifty, and a uh, microphone and uh, a headphone port up there too. Uh, power supply button or power button and I actually still have the uh, little plastic here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I guess that's pretty cool. Um, and then I still have the original power supply which is going to be useful because I'll need a power supply and then all the uh, standard I.O. It's a mini tower uh, case uh, so there's not really a ton of space in there but for a CD drive and a hard drive or two, uh, it's just fine. And uh, the back, you know, at the moment, of course, is pretty plain because I don't have anything plugged in. I have no idea yet what I'm going to do with this, um, but I can put it all back together and then figure it out after. Inside of this case is nice and clean, and I've already started by putting the I.O. shield in place. And this is uh, like a cheaper I.O. shield, so it's got all these little metal tabs. Um, on the uh, back side here so we want to make sure that when we slide the motherboard in that those tabs are sitting on top of these uh, metal parts up here and that's going to go in on an angle and this is kind of awkward to do from behind the camera so I'm going to shift a bit and then just make sure that those tabs fall there and then like that and then we'll just screw that in and then we can plug in all of the uh, I.O. and power. The front I.O. cables are next and fortunately these are color coded so these uh, the green and the blue correspond to the uh, green and blue plugs on the board. This happens to be a USB uh, 2.0 port and this is uh, a custom uh, socket for another board that's over there. And then this guy is all of the front I.O. so like the power button, the reset switch that's all um, nicely done on this header and that just goes on the board in its own spot so that makes it nice and easy. This power supply is only rated for 300 watts and as a result there isn't a ton of uh, power options here but you do get the basics so you have the 24-pin uh, power for the motherboard as well as a 4-pin lead as well. You've got four I believe, yep, four SATA power plugs and you get one uh, old-school floppy power if you need one of those and a four pin Molex. So we can get those plugged in uh, and then we can go ahead and install the DVD drive as well as a hard drive that I had to dig out from my pile of available stuff. Uh, but you know that's why I keep that stuff so when I redo or rebuild machines I've got some some spare parts to work with. So nice and easy let's move on to the next step. To install the CD drive we have to take the front panel off and these are held in by a couple of tabs here and then there's one back here and a little um, plastic uh, post I guess that you can push out and then once you loosen those this just swings out that way. Now the uh, power 
uh, cable is still plugged in here so I just have to be careful with that so I can just lay this down and then I can get the CD drive installed. I digged out a 250 gig Seagate SATA drive. Uh, this was in my pile of drives and I think 250 gig uh, for this kind of machine is going to be just about right. Um, and uh, this is just a plain Jane drive and that goes in next. That about does it. So I've got the drives installed and I have power and data plugged in. And I just want to make sure that these cables stay out of the fan on the CPU and the fan on the power supply. These cases aren't really made for really good cable management, so I'll just make sure to keep those out of the way uh, like that. And I think that'll be just fine. Um, I am leaning towards selling this computer after I've finished it all together. Um, you know, I probably could get uh, some good money for it. Uh, even though it is older, but it would be perfect for like a second computer for a house or a PC for like a kid to do homework, that kind of thing. And uh, I think the next steps for me is to do a secure wipe of this hard drive. Uh, I use a utility called Derek's Boot and Nuke. It's something that you can get online for free and it works really well. So that will be um, the next thing. And then I'll install a fresh copy of Windows 7, all of the appropriate updates and then this will be good to go. Now I uh, probably am going to get rid of it like I mentioned. Uh, I've got some plans for some new projects coming up in the next couple of months and having a little extra cash never hurt anything especially uh, new project work. So if I can uh, have old stuff that is laying around the house and get it ready and then sell it then that's kinda how I keep um, you know a continual flow of having some extra money to do those kind of projects and then all that stuff ends up on the channel so uh, that works out really well. So that's going to wrap it up for today, you guys. Uh, if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe. You'll uh, get to see a bunch of kind of techy, um, nerdy kind of videos, I guess. Um, also, like and uh, share this video because that helps me out a ton. In the description below, you're going to find out everywhere that I am. Uh, so follow me on those spots so you can uh, get updates on what I'm doing. And uh, I'm done rambling, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.